Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Get started here in just one second. Praise God. Hope everybody's having a great day. Get over here. Hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day today. This is this is a great day. This is the day the Lord has made. So let's rejoice in it. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this. I have my cup of coffee, and it is a cup that I bought while in Israel uh, about a year ago, and love this cup every time I get the opportunity to drink from it. I think of Israel, and but I also pray for Israel often. The Bible declares to Abraham, who is the father of us all, but of Israel too, that whoever blesses him will be blessed. And uh, we always want to bless the nation of Israel. We love Israel. We love God's people. And uh, thank God we are also grafted in to the body of Christ. Amen. I hope everybody is having a uh, just fantastic day today. I love you and thank God for you. I'm going to read a couple of scripture here. Just a second. And we will get into prayer and then I uh, want to hang out with everybody for a little bit. So we'll do that first. I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 29. I know that a lot of people have, um, they have quoted a verse from this chapter Many, many times I've heard it for many years. A lot of people quote a verse. I've seen it on uh, pictures and signs and things like that. And it's it's normally verse number 11 that people read. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And, and what, what an encouraging, encouraging word that is. Thoughts of peace and not an evil. That, that's such a encouraging word. That God, God, God wants to give us thoughts of peace. However, I want to focus in on verse number 13 and verse number 14. Jeremiah 13, uh, chapter 29 and verse number 13 and 14. This is uh, a verse that, two verses really, that I have held on to myself. And many years I have cling to these verses because... I, I, I love to worship the Lord and I love to uh, lead people in worship. And it's just super awesome verses when you think about worshiping God and reaching God. I love this. Jeremiah 29, verse 13 and 14. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. And then I love just the first part of chapter 14 and I will be found of you seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart and I will be found of you what what encouragement when we seek God with our heart with our whole heart we will find him and he declares it again not only will you find him but he declares it again in verse 14 I will be found of you I'm going to come in and be found of you. I will be where you are. Thank God for that. So when we are praying at home, when we are worshiping uh, at home or in church or wherever we may be, when we seek God with all of our heart, he said, I will be found of you. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something. God can be found in your home when you seek for him. Just a couple of things. I'm not going to preach a sermon. If we lose the joy and pleasure of seeking the Father, He will remain hidden. If we lose the joy and the pleasure of seeking the Father, He will remain hidden. The thing is, you know, when you play hide and seek with a little kid, you can hide and not be found because you know the best hiding places. You've lived in your house, you're an adult, you know the best hiding places. And your kid, you could hide in a place that your kid could never find you. God can hide where we can never find him. 
And I think that when we lose the joy and the pleasure of seeking him, he kind of just stays hidden. But when we continue in the joy and the pleasure of seeking him, of searching for him, of loving him, of worshiping him, of honoring him, what a joy it is that we can sing praises to him and, and honor him and glorify him. What a joy it is that I can just say, hallelujah. And it reach the throne of God and magnify him. What a joy it is that I can say, thank you, Jesus. And it come out of my mouth, from my heart, and shoot to where Christ is. And he hears that. That is a joy. And I think that when we continue in the joy of seeking him and loving him, searching the scripture, when we continue in the joy of searching the scripture and, and, and finding God, God reveals himself to us. Uh, Proverbs chapter 25 and verse number two. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse number two. God is revealed in the concealed things that are stretched out, that are that are searched out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search it out. I believe is how the verse goes. That was just my note on the verse that I have wrote down uh, here. But God, it, it's the glory of God to conceal a thing. However, the glory comes when we seek it out. That's that's really where it is. God, when God is revealed in the concealed things that we search out. When we find him, when we seek for him, he will be found of us. Amen. God is magnificent in putting forth his word in a spiritual manner, which means that if I just read this with natural knowledge, if I just read this with natural knowledge, I will not see the revelation from it. But when I allow the spirit of God to speak, man, it brings things. So I just want to encourage you today, let's seek God. Let's seek his word. Get into his word. Get into the word of God. Get into the word of God. Seek his word. And, and he, will, he will be found of you. I promise he will. He will reveal things to you. Uh, worship him. You know, whether you turn music on or whether you just want to sing to the top of your lungs because it don't matter who hears you, if just in your own home, wherever it may be, do that. Seek after God. Amen. Let's pray. Then I want to chat with everybody for a little bit. But let's pray. Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, that we can seek you and your word declares that we will find you and you will be found in us and around us, found of us, Lord, found in where we are. You will reveal yourself to us. So, Father, I just pray that an encouragement would come upon the people that even in this time away from uh, gathering together, Lord, that we will still seek you with all of our heart. That we will still search for you. That we will still worship you, God, with everything in us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that, Lord. And God, I just continue to pray. I know what this nation is facing right now. I know how the virus is going. I know the things that are going on. But Lord, we just pray against this in the name of Jesus. We will not let go of our faith and trust in you. We are seated in trust. And from that comes our faith that, Lord, this virus will go in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this area, over our families, over our churches, God, over this region. I plead the blood of Jesus and I pray a shield of faith around, Lord, your people, God, a shield of faith around your people. I continue to pray against the spirit of fear. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It has no place in your body, the body of Christ. Lord, I love you and I thank you. Thank you for being such a good father to us. Thank you. Thank you for being found of us. And Lord, may we never lose the joy of seeking you. May we never lose the joy of seeking you. I love you and I thank you. I ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I love you. I love you so much. Hope everybody's doing good. Hey, Amen. This is my Bible that I got, as you can see. Again, I shared it the other day, but one page is blank, and and uh, and it's just every other page has a blank page in between them. I, I love that about it. But you can take notes on both sides. Hey, Amen. How is everybody? How is everybody? How is everybody? Let's see. Scroll through the notes. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Yvonne, Rosalie, Carolyn, Becky, hello, Hope, hello, April, Sybil, 
Hello, hello, hello. Love you guys. Hello, Sister Farrell. Uh, how is everybody today? This is a good day. Good day. Good day today. Looks like it might have got interrupted. I, oh, there we are. All right. Man. There's a little bit of a lag, I see. Uh, but uh, that's okay. That is okay. Amen. Praise God. Well, uh, there's so much of a lag here that uh, it will be a while before everybody catches up to where I am and I'll be sitting here quiet during that time. I love you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank God for you. You're so great. I love our church. Thank you, church. Thank you for all of you that joined us yesterday. The videos are uploaded. Of course, they're on Facebook, but they're easier to find on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So just want to encourage you, if you have not already, go to the YouTube channel. The, there's several links in our Facebook uh, page. Go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the little bell. It'll tell you when we go live on YouTube. Just an easier way to see the videos specifically. Facebook's great for uh, uh, advertising things and, and, and throwing things out there like that, but YouTube is so much better when it comes to video. So I just want to encourage you to do that. Go over there to the YouTube page, subscribe to it. But thank you for everybody that joined with us yesterday, Sunday, in our services and interacting during the services. God, God's definitely good, and I just love our church. I love you so much. Praying you have a blessed day today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.